When you encounter information, ask yourself, can you verify the author's claims? If you hear gossip, do you assume that what you hear is true or just a rumor? Verifiability is the whole purpose of citing your sources and preparing bibliographies for your papers in college. Your professors want to be able to verify all of your information claims and teach you that it's important to check your sources of information for accuracy. Verifiability is especially important with statistics. Here's an example. This is Milo Kress, an environmental activist. When he was nine years old, he launched a public campaign to eliminate disposable drinking straws, which are commonly used once and then thrown into the trash. Milo said that Americans used 500 million disposable drinking straws per day. This number was uncritically cited by many, many, many professional news organizations. There are ways that professional statisticians can conduct national consumer studies that accurately assess how many times people use a particular product. These are complex, sophisticated research methods. Nine-year-old Milo Kress did not use them. He called up a few drinking straw manufacturers and made a rough estimate based on the numbers that they gave him. That's how he reasoned that Americans use 500 million drinking straws per day. A number that was then cited in the news many times without mentioning that it came from a nine-year-old child without professional training in statistical analysis. A number that was then used to argue for laws to restrict the use of disposable drinking straws. This is a problem that could have been stopped early on if enough people had said, Milo, where did you get this statistic? It's a problem that could have been stopped if more people attempted to verify the information that they encountered. This incident is a good illustration of why verifying information is so important. It's not just something that you use in school for assignments. It's part of everyday life. If, for example, a coworker tells you something ridiculous, such as a new procedure that could be physically dangerous, ask them where they got that information. If a relative shares an unhinged conspiracy theory on Facebook, ask them where they got their information. Here are some tips about specific actions to take to verify information claims. When you encounter a piece of information, see if the author cites a source to support that information. Does the citation give you enough details about the author's source that you could actually track down that source? If not, the author's information is unverifiable. Is the source of information anonymous? You may see this often in news stories. An unnamed source inside a company or government agency allegedly tells a reporter something. Although the reporter's employer may be able to verify the anonymous source, you can't. The author's information is unverifiable. When you see statistics, examine the statistical methods used to generate those statistics. It's quite possible to rig a statistical survey to produce desired results. All that is necessary is to collect particular data and process it particular ways. Good scientists will openly publish explanations of their statistical methods. Dig into them. If those methods aren't explained by your information source and you are unable to track them down, then the author's information is unverifiable. If you can't verify a piece of information, then you should be skeptical of it.